ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my adorable co-host, Teddy. And you might be wondering why I'm wearing the gloves. Hmm, looking weird today. Um, that's because I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a showdown of the most expensive graphics card I have ever, ever tested. It's the AMD oh, Radeon Pro Duo. And this thing is just absolutely insane. So we look around the box, it's actually um, pretty bare for the most part. You see there's not much on it. Ugh. Got some writing up here about some of the features, but all in all, it's pretty minimalistic. Usually they have pictures and stuff like that all around the box, but uh, this one doesn't. So let's jump right in with the unboxing. And I'm going to cut it right here because this box is insanely hard to open and get everything out of. So I'll be right back in one sec. Okay, and I'm back. So here we are. <laughs> it's all out of the box. Um, I just have to be super, super careful with this one because of the price. Now, let's actually get into this unboxing then. So we open up this side here. Oh, maybe it'll help if we flip it up a little bit like this. Being very careful here. Come on. There we go. Okay, it opens up at the top. Okay, good, cool. cool. It's a very big box as well to open for you guys. So trying to give you that nice uh, unboxing experience without everything flying low. Okay, so there we go. That's what you get on the inside. Let's go through everything one by one just like we usually do so it's coming with your standard um, product registration this is a sapphire pro duo so it's coming with sapphire's product registration uh warranty information and a whoops installation guide <laughs> driver cd i would hope that if you're buying graphics card this expensive you probably realize that you can just go and get the drivers online you don't need to be using the cd but it's there if you uh want to use it and of course the uh, graphics card itself oh we got some little screws down here for uh, something this might just help with oh this would be helping to uh, mount the radiator as this is a all-in-one liquid cooled gpu and then we have in its entirety the gpu itself Oh my goodness. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Alrighty. We'll put all this aside. Yeah. Whoops. Oh! <laughs> I just knocked over my eye drops. <laughs> the box is so big. Um, okay, cool. Let's see. So, the graphics card itself. Here we go. I'll take the plastic off the radiator. Off we go. And, and of course we have the GPU itself. I'll take this plastic off here, slides off. Oh, that's cool. Nice. So let's talk about this graphics card itself and it's a beastly. God, this thing looks so nice, guys. Honestly, wow, this looks amazing. So um, what is it actually coming with? So this is uh, basically two R9 nanos put together would be the easiest way to put it. So it's coming with two 28 nanometer Fiji GPUs uh, with a total of 8,192 stream processors. Wow. And 512 texture units. That's absolutely insane. Now, clock speed wise, it's going to be coming with a 1,000 megahertz clock speed or 1 gigahertz. Memory wise, so let's look around at the back here. Oh, that is a nice matte black backplate there. That looks really, really good. Very, very sexy. Uh, so memory wise, it's coming with four gigabytes of HPM uh, per GPU. So you will only get four gigabytes. Uh, that's on a 4096 bit bus. Wow, you know, dual 4096 bit buses. And it's coming with a memory speed of 500 megahertz. So you're going to have absolutely crazy memory bandwidth with this guy, just like what we saw on the Fury X. Now it's coming with a TDP of 350 watts so yeah pretty up there that's getting damn high uh, and as far as power connectors go you might have noticed if we swing it around here um, it's coming with three eight pin power connectors wow this thing is going to take a lot of power and amd actually recommends this is what amd recommends an 800 watt or higher power supply to use with this gross card. So it'll be interesting because I'm running a Corsair AX760i, so a 760 watt power supply. Um, but I don't think it'll be a problem. 
honestly, usually they, they say it's much higher than what you actually will need. So I'm sure I'll be able to get away with a 760 watt power supply and probably most of you guys would be able to get away with a 750 watt power supply. But when we do the testing, I'll make sure to check out how much it's actually drawing. So features wise, AMD is saying that this is aimed at virtual reality and virtual reality game development, which I find um, quite interesting that they've taken it in that direction. So they're saying it's uh, optimized for uh, VR experiences within AMD's liquid VR technology. So that's quite cool. They're also saying it's made for productivity things as well. So um, faster pro productivity using parallel computing uh, through OpenCL supported um, applications, you know, depending on what you might be doing with this graphics card. So that's quite interesting as well. It's also got their asyn asynchronous shaders, which uh, enables uh, the latest DX12, which we haven't seen much of, and Vulkan titles to be great at uh, 4K and VR. That's what AMD is saying. Um, although you'll find that on, it's not just you know for this card. Um, you'll find that on other high-end AMD graphics cards also. What's um, very, very curious is that it's coming with both Game Ready and Fire Pro drivers. So, um, yeah, that caught me a little bit off guard. I guess that's, you know, showing that it can be for gaming and for productivity type stuff. So that's quite cool also. Uh, it's got the LED logos, which we have come to, um, you know, get used to with the Fury line. That's really cool. It should make this already, you know, gorgeous looking graphics card look even better. And it's got a premium industrial design, so that's uh, quite cool. It's got all the uh, nickel-plated aluminium shrouding all around it, so that looks really good. As we talked about, that uh, matte black finish on the back plate there looks really, really good too. This is an absolutely gorgeous-looking graphics card, and I really uh, do like it. Now, as far as the coolings, uh, coolers going, it's got the same Cooler Master um, all-in-one that you would find on the Fury X you guys are probably used to. However, of course, because being that this is a dual GPU graphics card, it's got two pumps inside. Um, so I'm expecting very, very good cooling results uh, from this. And size-wise, it's coming in at 270 millimeters long for the graphics card, so that should fit in the vast majority of cases out there. And of course, the radiator is just a uh, 120 millimeter rad, so um, this should also fit in uh, the vast majority of things. Although it's slightly on the thicker side, but that's usually not an issue for uh, most people. Moving over to the I/O, and it was actually quite difficult to find any information on uh, what specific ports this is uh, running. However, we can see that it's triple DisplayPort. I'm guessing that's DisplayPort 1.2, the same as on the uh, Fury X, and a single HDMI, which I would also guess is HDMI 1.4, not 2.0. So that's a bit of a shame there. I would have really liked to have seen a HDMI 2.0 on it. However, I'm not 100% sure of that, guys, and I was having a very hard time trying to actually find information on it. It seems like MD's kept it under wraps. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the price. How much is this going to actually set you back? So uh, in New Zealand at Playtech, it's going to be costing you 2,799 New Zealand dollars. That is absolutely crazy. And over in, in, uh, in the United States, it's going to be setting you back uh, around 1500 US dollars. So this is an absolutely insanely priced ghost card. It is so expensive. And if you're really fond of bankruptcy court, you can uh, use two of these in Crossfire. Yes, you can Crossfire the Radeon Pro Duo. That is just absolutely nuts. So now that we've got this big unboxing and overview out of the way, what am I going to show down the Pro Duo against? And of course, I've got to pick a worthy adversary, something that's going to be uh, really, really powerful and stand up to the Pro Duo. So of course, we're going to be putting it against something from NVIDIA, and it's going to be the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti. But not just one. I'm going to be testing it with a 980 Ti SLI. So Pro Duo versus uh, 980 Ti SLI. So let me know down in the comment section down below, who do you think will win? Do you think it will be the Pro Duo with its sexy liquid cooler? Or do you think it's going to be the dual GTX 980 Ti's? I'd really like to know what you guys think. And that's going to round out this video. So please subscribe to my channel, Tech Showdown, if you haven't already. So you catch that showdown as soon as it drops. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.